getting new information this evening about a tractor trailer accident on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. We learned a body was recovered today. The body that was recovered today was not the driver of the truck. Right now, the 18 wheeler sits in a local harbor where authorities will investigate what happened. The first calls for the crash came in around 6.30 last night as some storms moved into the area. A van and a tractor trailer collided, sending the truck into the water and damaging the guardrail. Town on your sides, Asia Tolliver has details on the incident. Asia, so police have confirmed that one person has died, and we now know that person was not the driver of the tractor trailer. That's right, Kayla. We're told divers entered the water to begin the search around 6.30 this morning. And Coast Guard officials say, you know, they did find that one body inside of the tractor. Coast Guard officials say the tractor trailer was towed away from the area around 2 p.m. with that body still inside. They say workers were unable to retrieve the body from the semi to make a positive identification at first. So the recovery continued at a local harbor. But we've just learned the one body that's been recovered from the tractor trailer, like you said, again, officials do not believe is the driver. U.S. Coast Guard is assisting with the search effort for the driver, however. They say they searched all last night on the water but eventually had to land the helicopter because of high winds. Officials say their sonar received a ping which helped them locate the semi. A van with four people inside was also involved in the crash. Officials say all of them were treated and released from the scene. Police are still investigating the circumstances of that accident, but they say when it happened, the tunnel was operating under a posted speed limit of 35 miles per hour because of that heavy rainfall. Now, the shoulder lane at the scene of the accident will remain closed until permanent repairs can be made to the damaged curb and guardrail. We're told this could take several days and still no identifications on the victims. It's a story we'll continue to follow. In the newsroom, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.